Hello everybody, this is David from goldstartool.com and um, we are at goldstartool.com, golden cutting and sewing supplies in downtown LA in our showroom. So you see a bunch of sewing machine around you. Uh, just had a chance. I thought we did a video on Juki 1508N, uh, but I think we didn't. I just checked my database. If you just go in and zoom in so people would see that it's made in Japan, 1508 is one of the, uh, I mean, maybe hand, I mean, maybe 10 or 20 machines that Juki still makes them in Japan, 1508N. Now there is a 1508H as well too. More heavy duty, H for heavy, N is the standard one. Um, it comes with a very, very heavy duty head right here, table, legs, motor, uh, we usually put in the um, brushless motor on this machine because if some people want to go ahead and put the needle positioning system on it. Uh, we have a uh, thread size T60 on it, but this machine could do way more than that. I uh, just have something that we had here. Uh, T60 is done, um, uh, used for jeans and stuff, but you could go 105, 190, more than that. Um, reverse, automatic bobbin winder, uh, thread stand is included. Now, I said this many times and I'm gonna say it again. When we sell machines, uh, people call in and say, is the thread stand? Yes, it's thread stand, it's uh, um, included, knee lifter is included, Draw, uh, the drawing is included, everything is included, till everything, unless you want the head only. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do something very, very fun, right? Um, now, 1508 has a, um, a clutch system that if, let's say the thread is too thick or the fabric is too thick or the machine automatically stops. So when you turn, it see it's like a neutral. It doesn't do anything. So that's why the button is right here. You press the button right here and you go back and forth a couple of times with the wheels and then it will adjust itself to its original uh, position. This is a reason for the machine not to um, come out of timing. Um, I'm gonna use so this is a top load, big, huge bobbin. These are not the M bobbins. These are uh, um, extra large bobbins that uh, we have on our website. You could buy them. Um, it's really, really big and a lot of ca big capacity. Um, top load right here, uh, no bobbin case. It's like a cap. You see this one opens up right here and you drop in the bobbin and you just shut it down right so that's the top um, the stitch length all the way to nine that's nine millimeter uh, again we talked about this and oh my goodness this is heavy oh i can't even lift it okay so this is a no, no oil pan here. I gotta go in the back and push it back. I, is it locked? I think so, it might be. Okay, let me, if you get them like this, this is very easy. This is the knee lifter. It just goes in there and you could, you see these two hinges here? I think this is the one that makes it, get, oh yeah. Here we go. So, no oil pan. This is for the oil to drop here if you have any oil. Uh, they call this semi-dry. The oil is inside here. Obviously you get Juki Corporation number two. Uh, oil, the whole thing goes inside. But no oil pan, everything is inside the head. Now if there is any drop, if you come in, you have oil that goes inside here and there is a bottle, reservoir that keeps the oil. Uh, there is this pad here that observe the oil so it wouldn't ruin your 
uh, and this is the bottom. See how heavy this timing belt? Right here, all the mechanism, really, really heavy do this stuff. We sell a lot of these machines. And I'm gonna put it back, oh my goodness. Now, okay, so if you get this machine, and this is separate, it's not a big deal, you just put it in there. And done. Or not done. You have to see, go in there, it's very easy. This one goes in there, it's like a and then show it here, up and down. Very nice, beautiful. Okay, we don't want this video to be long. <laughs> Normal table, 48 inch by 20. Bed of the machine, 20 inch. The neck, 10 inch. Height, four in five inch. The at least half an inch, more than half an inch here. Uh, foot, space between the table and the foot. Uh, legs is adjustable, you get oil, you get the oiler. Um, we drop in this very cute tiny LED lamp that goes underneath and it's magnetic. And the other end goes to the machine, to the motor. Um, bobbin. Some bracket. Um, here, if you need to, I have the side opens up. There is a screw if you want to oil. Everything is here. You could oil it. It tells you what places to oil. The oiling system right here. And needle 135 by 17. And this is size 23. You got a couple of screws, shoes for the legs, the screwdrivers, and that's it. I mean, that's what comes with it. This one I throw in. But we are very good. If you need anything, we could always accommodate. Now, let's go and lose the machine. We turn on the machine, right? Machine on, very good. And I'm gonna show. This is about five layers or more of denim jeans. One, two, three, four, to be exact. And then one, two, three, four, eight. Uh, <laughs> now, you see it's down. If we had needle positioning set, it would come up if you wanted to. Now, this is, when you want to pull it out, all you have to do is play with the uh, the wheels. Now, look at this. I want you to look at this huge um, feed dog hole that the needle goes through, size 23. Now, I'm gonna take this to the next level. I have 20 layers of cotton. 20 layers, I counted it. I had my girl counted and I just want to, if you have 20 layers of cotton, quilters, bag makers, whatever it is, would this work, right? Should I do it? Yes. Now, sometimes you have to really, butter, butter. Look at that. Look at that beautiful stitching. Reverse. Forward. Look at that. Reverse. Forward. Look at that beautiful, beautiful stitch. Now, the machine is not oiled. I haven't put any oil in it, so I'm not gonna really give it a lot of uh, uh, pressure, but I just wanna show you the back. Hopefully, the back. look at the back. 
This is 20 layers of cotton fabric. And how easy, like butter, right? Mm -hmm. So now I want to do some binding. And I'm using a 508LS. Okay, this one goes right here. Now, somebody giving somebody a ticket outside. <laughs> So, um, we're gonna go ahead and adjust this. You see this, I'm gonna, we're gonna pause. I'm gonna go get two screws. We're gonna put the two screws here, adjust the bracket. Just so before we go uh, to the bridge, as we say, the type of the foot that it is, how inside is round, outside is flat, is a single type on this one. And we have maybe about 20 or 30 different type of food for this machine. Uh, put it on pause, and we'll, I just wanna go ahead and get a couple of screws and we're gonna bind, show them how to bind. Okay. Thank you. So, okay, so we found the screw. It's a, um, a standard screw. The thumb screw that usually works on the regular home sewing machine, industrial machine doesn't work here, this one is bigger. Now you could, people call me and tell me what is the screw, so this one is, I number item happens to be 7034, right? Yeah. And it's perfect, goes in, and bada bing, bada boom. Now, if you guys don't have any screw, it's very easy to find out what thread it is. Go to Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever you wanna go and just buy screws. Or I have a uh, YouTube video that I show how you could just tape it with masking tape. It's very easy, it doesn't move, but if you wanna be very professional like me, then you have the screw. Now, we have the screw, but since this bracket is made for all different type of sewing machines, the screw doesn't go inside the hole right here. So what I did is, I just wanna tell you how easy it is to just, just go ahead and make a hole, like I did it, and hopefully it's gonna work, but is going, we need a bigger one maybe. See, this is the story of me. That's what I have to do. I have to go get a bigger screw, bigger uh, drill, and drill, drill it and come back. So pause it again. But it's good that we understand that when you wanna do this stuff, there are, there is no one thing that is made for one special machine. These are standards, so you have to make them fit. So I'm gonna go get, make a bigger hole and come right back. Okay, so I made a uh, bigger hole, tiny, tiny, tiny. I just, not even a big deal. And the screw's going in. You see how much I'm putting this next to this bracket, this right next to. Now there is a foot made special for the uh, binding attachment that we have it on our website. You could also use this to move back and forth, okay? So I'm gonna do binding right now. And if you give me one second, please. Here I'm gonna do binding and webbing because I know you're gonna do heavy stuff, right? Very heavy stuff going through. Is this one and a half inch? I think this is one and a half inch, right? Uh, so this is one and a half inch and we have two inch. We have to change this to a two inch or this one to one and a half inch. Let me just go ahead and change this one to a one and a half inch so we could use this webbing. Now these come different sizes. They come every, from even half all the way to the one that we have is two inch. But it is uh, double fold, meaning like no raw edge. Now in this case, maybe even do raw edge because this is clean finish already on the edge. You don't want, but what I'm trying to say is that we're gonna do raw edge and we're gonna do it on this one. Uh, pause again, we come back. Okay, while we add this, I had an idea to show you what is the difference between 100 LS and 508 LS, all right? Now, the design, it doesn't matter how the bracket is, how this uh, tray is sitting. You gotta concentrate on right here, the fitting, this that the, 
You see, when an item, a, a material goes in here, it doubles here and doubles again here. So there is two turns. Turn number one, turn number two. That shows you that this, this folder is double fold. All right? Double fold. One fold here, one fold there. You see, it's like a turn. Now, with this one, no turn. It's just one turn at the end. So if you find one of these things and you don't know, there is no number on them, and you don't know what it is, it's, you could easily tell from here, double fold or single fold. So since we had our webbing was pretty um, clean finish, edges, you see it's clean finish. We don't want to hide the edge, we just want to fold. So I chose to use this one, one and a half, and when you put it in, it comes from the other end and bam, okay? And I use the same bracket from the other one just to get closer to here. So what I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and, uh, again, these items are not made for only one machine, one sewing machine. These are for, the, the you have to make it fit. You gotta use your, um, what, what they gotta use? Their imagination. Imagination, okay. He, she, I mean, Jasmine said imagination. So, <laughs> see, I try to get as much close as I can. If I didn't want to use this bracket and this bracket, I could even get closer by just masking tape this one, right? But I'm gonna lose this one. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out, put it underneath, and just start sewing a little bit, right, to see. Okay, let me scoop, put it on pause again. So what it was, that this was too deep, and I think it was hitting one of the hooks moving parts, and it was preventing from machine to go uh, on. So I got washers, that's what it is. Again, you, as Jasmine said, you have to be uh, very, um, adjustable on how I'm gonna do this, not a big deal. I just adjusted the um, the foot, the bracket, and obviously I do, oh here. Yeah. ta -da. Okay, so now, so we have one layer of I mean, two layer of webbing inside here, and I'm gonna try, the whole idea is to show you how this machine works, how, and this is the height, look at that, okay? Would the height go through this? Yes, it would the height go through this. And can we do it? Okay, uh, we're gonna sew, we're gonna start sewing, and this has to be loose. I'm not a sewer here, ladies or gentlemen. See, I'm not a sewer, and you have to make sure that this catches on so it will go with it. You see that? You saw that, Senorita? Jasmine? Whee! Now, I'm gonna cut here just for one to show. Look at this. Beautiful. Binding, right? Now I'm gonna do. Uh, that's gonna, this one would go. So this one. I had to cut this part, but look at that. 
if we had cut this part, I know it is a lot of pressure. Don't cut that beautiful part, piece of height. Right? Mm -hmm. mm. And again, this has to be very tight. Very, very tight. And this has to be very tight because we're working with very heavy stuff. Right? So here I'm trying to show you how it's going to be when you are doing sewing leather, hide, vinyl, and you're gonna kill me because I know you like this. <laughs> I'm gonna go fast. Now you see this one? If you think that this is too far away, you could always adjust, go to that side, right? More, even if you want. I'm gonna go max. Hello. That was fast. Beautiful. Very thick vinyl leather, double webbing, 508, uh, 1508N. Thank you for uh, uh, staying on and going through this video. Again, beautiful, beautiful stitching. Uh, look at that. <laughs> Stitch number nine. And here you go. Look at that. This is nine millimeter stitching. Front, back, double fold. Uh, uh, raw edge, which is this one. In this case, you are a clean edge. 100 LS. This one is 508 LS. This lady right here is LU1508 by Juki. Table, leg, motor by Newtech. A beauty. Uh, thank you for watching. Share, like, thumbs up, and have a wonderful, wonderful safe day.